Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be alright. Then we'll go to the future. I'll be alright? If that happens, Mommy will go somewhere with that lady. I don't want her to go. Okay, then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! Get to a shelter! Hurry! You there! Where's your mother? Isn't she here? Uh... My mommy is... Don't look! Get to the shelter, understood? Sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. You see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you alright? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. Right. I remember now. It was Kasane. She's the one who saved me back then. Oh, right. Kasane! <sighs> it's the same as the vision Babe showed us. Which means... Mom? Why are you here? 
What's going on? Yuizo... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. Good. She said she could... If it's true that Wak... That reminds... They were making up... It might be. I never could figure out how much new Himuka... But if they have... If neither new Himuka nor Tok... The extinction... It's not fur. Well, they most like... You're almost right. So, the others falling to... That's so... Very. With the moon's tech... It's in Dr. P... <sighs> well, we have... You don't have to... Circumstances are unfortunate, but it's good you got to see your mom again. I guess I should talk to Sheena. This is... thanks. Oh, Yuito. I wanted... Sure, what a... I just wanted to thank you. It's kind of like... understand your feelings better. Hmm, 
Nice. I didn't really talk to Kasane about the fact that the person who raised her was my mother. Hey, Kasane! Do you have a minute? Sure. What is it? I wanted to talk to you about my mother. I thought you may want to as well. Yes. Will you come with me to Mizuhagawa? Uh, why? I thought it would be best to talk somewhere private. I also want to get some combat in. So you want to get some field training? Great. I'll make lunch then. We'll probably get hungry. This isn't a picnic. <sighs> Fine. Good. Then we'll leave in an hour. We don't get to do this too often, so I'll make the best lunch that I can. <sighs> Looks like we took care of most of the others around here. Let's take a break. Here's your lunch. Oh. She's not saying anything. Maybe she doesn't like some of the vegetables. Or maybe I tried too hard? I was going to make something simpler, but I got carried away. Is it too much? It's fine. It tastes fine, too. <laughs> Thanks. So, let's talk while we eat. I was surprised that you called my mom mother. You're the one that called my mother mom. That's the same... No, wait. I guess she raised you first. Mother raised me when she was in Togetsu. Then she had you and your brother in Suo. That means you're like my big sister then. Wait a minute. Why am I your big sister? You were raised first, so that means you're older than me. Oh, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought about it that much. She is rather indifferent sometimes. Well... <laughs> We really don't pay attention to actual age in the OSF. I don't have memories from when Mother went away until I was adopted by the Randalls. That's when my brother and I were born, so it must have been about ten years. Were you in cryogenic sleep or something? That's most likely the case. All I remember is losing my mother, and how painful it was. Oh, right. But I was born because she left Togetsu. So that's a good thing for me, at least. Right. Oh, sorry. That was a little insensitive. No. It's true that if Mother had stayed in Togetsu, you wouldn't have been born. So, I guess I should call you Big Sister now? Stop it. The only Big Sister I know is Naomi. It doesn't suit me. Okay, I won't say it anymore. Whew, that was quite the feast. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Yes, it was good, thanks. How do you feel about seeing Mother? It was necessary in order to save the world. But in truth, I was really happy to see her. Me too. The moment I saw her face, it was like I was a child again. It was really strange. Neither of us had seen her since we were young. There's just so much I want to tell her about. So do I. I wonder if we'll have the time, though. That's hard to say. Did you ask her how long she can stay in this time? No, I haven't had the chance. I hope she'll stay forever. Yeah. But as much as I want her to... You're right. Yeah. I wasn't a... Even if we... I was just a... As long as we have those memories. I like that way of thinking. Even without the red strings, our hearts are connected over... Yes. Really? But I am very... Yes. Promise not to laugh. I actually did... Why would I laugh? I guess we've gotten a little... This is perfect. Okay. Stay on guard. It might not... She said it doesn't suit her. What? You... Oh, it's nothing. Let's go.
When I look at you lately, I re I was the one by- What did she Oh, that's a secret between sis- to put into words yeah me too i feel like we have a real connection oh this is wonderful Just the person I want. Um... Eat red food? Oh, um... You can talk... ...to me about anything. Romantic issues. Thank you. I think I should talk to Kagero. Yuito, do you have- What's the matter? Let's go to Misu- What was it that you were hiding from me? I couldn't tell you before. Because I was scared of what you'd think of me. A long time ago, Togetsu ordered me to monitor your mother, Wakana Sumeragi. My mom? Yes. Right after she escaped from Togetsu, they sent me into Suo. I spied on her and reported everything to them. Her movements, her life, and her family. I see. That's why you knew about my childhood. I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. No, I'm glad you told me. I'm surprised, but I'm sure you didn't have a choice. Thank you. I don't know if this can make up for it, but I'll answer anything you want to know. Hmm, let's see. Okay. I'm a little embarrassed to ask this. What is it? Could you tell me more about my mom? We didn't have time to really sit down and have a conversation when she came back. Yes, of course. Where should I start? From that romantic day your parents met? No, you don't need to go that far. How about from the time I was born? Let's see. You had to be kept in the hospital for a while, but you were such a cute baby. Your mother was always by your side, watching over you. <sighs> While you and your brother grew, I think your mother always sensed Togetsu in the shadows. Still, she continued basking you in love, never showing any sign of fear or worry. She was an incredible person. Do you think you were watching over us like my mom did? Huh? Just... the way you were talking about it made it sound like you kept a watchful eye on us. I'm sorry if I was wrong. Hmm... you're right. I may have gotten a little attached. I mean, I've been watching your family for years. I still wish Wakana could have lived like that forever. <sighs> However, I couldn't even imagine going against Togetsu at the time. All I could do was watch. You don't need to feel responsible for that. You're not like that anymore. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can forgive myself a little. Thank you. Well, thank you for telling me stories about my mom. Can I hear more sometime? Yes, any time you'd like. I have lots I want to share as well. Like the first time you walked, or when your diaper... Hey, we don't need to go over anything like that. Do you have tons of embarrassing stories about me or something? Um, I'm sorry, Yuito. I pushed a lot on you without considering your feelings. Huh? What are you talking about? 
You know, like charms and fortune telling. I just wanted to become friends with you so badly that I went a little overboard. From now on, I'm going to do my best to be a motherly and trustworthy sisterly figure to you. When you know, there's a lot of... You have potential. You have a good eye. She hasn't mentioned the Force Break program to me. I wonder why she wanted. She also said, I, I know. I'll call that person up. She isn't going to like this. But if it helps get the issue out. Hey, Arashi. Remember how you told me that I was like Major General Fubuki? Oh, that? I can't believe you remember that. Yeah, you two are alike. Especially how earnest and naive you are. You told me to rest and relax because being too earnest wasn't good. But I think those words and the Force Break program were meant for him. That's an interesting idea. What makes you think that? There's a lot of reasons. But I guess seeing him work until he collapsed sealed the deal. Whenever I see him, I do think he really needs someone to force him to rest. If that's the case, I think you should be telling all of this to him instead of me. Even if you're right, that sounds like a pain. I thought you'd say that. I'm sorry for doing this behind your back. But I invited Major General Fubuki here. He should arrive any minute now. What? I received a message from Yuito. He said you wanted to talk to me, Arashi? Fubuki? I had no idea you were so nosy, Yuito. You're the one who started this by trying to force me to rest, so consider this payback. I can't believe you. Arashi, Yuito, what's going on? Sorry, Fubuki, but I don't really have anything to talk to you about. Arashi, come on. I mean, there's a lot of things I could say. However, I know it's wrong to push my own values on you. I won't criticize or deny the way you live just because we think differently. I suppose I was conceited to think that I was always right. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really? It's the conclusion I drew from my latest experiment. Experiment? Yeah, it was pretty enjoyable. It's all thanks to the wonderful test subject I had. <laughs> In other words, you just have to follow your gut. Arashi. Arashi. Just don't push yourself too hard. I can't support you if you collapse. Like, physically. I know. Thank you. Hmm. Sorry, maybe I did stick my nose where it didn't belong. That's all right. That was surprisingly cathartic. I've been avoiding that conversation because I thought it was too much of a pain. Seems like I had a lot I kept bottled up inside. I feel a bit better now. Really? That's good. So here's a token of my appreciation. Take it. Appreciation? <laughs> my vision! 
It's the light version of the break program. It starts spinning your vision, so you'll... I'm getting dizzy. Yes, that was awesome. How's that for relaxing, Yuito? You're actually pissed, aren't you? It's tough being the good one. You're... a good one? Come on. Do I look like a good girl? I'm talking about you. Public impression will often hold you back in life. I just thought it must be hard for you. <laughs> You're always so nice. Thanks. Becoming more reliable every day. Keep this up and you could do my half of the work too. I don't know about your half, but I'm happy you recognize what I can. Yuito, can I ask you something? Sure. What? Um, we found the white flowers already. I was wondering if there were any other plants you want me to find? Hmm. Nothing comes to mind. Oh, all right. You look really disappointed. What's up all of a sudden? Well, I wanted to help you. You always help me. Not only in battle, but with the flowers, too. That's more than enough. But... I... Huh? What is it? Mm. Oh, sorry. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh, wait, I'll say it. I have to. I want to be brave. Sugumi? I... want to... be... for... for... I want to be your friend. Huh? You want to be my friend? I've been thinking about it for a long time. You're so nice, and you listen to me. So, I want to be your friend. I looked for the white flowers because I wanted to help you. I thought if I did, you'd be my friend. Oh... That's what you were trying to say when I asked you why you were so interested in that flower on Hiano Mountain. Yeah. I didn't lie then, but the main reason was because I wanted you to be my friend. So, I asked if there was any other way I could help. I'll help you any way I can. You don't have to do that, you know. So you don't want to be my friend? What are you talking about? We're already friends. What? That's how I feel anyway. If it's okay with you, I want to be your friend. But, but... Whether you're helping... The way I talk... Listen, it's... Being able to... That's not... Really? I mean, seeing all... And who else but... You think so? Yeah. Yeah? So don't... F I think you should... That's kind I always... Like I said, I'm just like that white flower. I think you should live the... No. Same here. I'm happy. Yeah. Oh, right. What? Go on. We couldn't bring back that silent snow melt before. So, I was thinking we could find a flower that's suited for this place. Is there one that would bloom inside the hideout? There are... Spath but we sh soiled. Um, there are no easy plants. Got it. <laughs> she looks like she, she sees. Okay, sure. Huh? I told you before. <laughs> <laughs> 